Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at a 360 virtual tour of the log cabin at O'Hara Mill Homestead near Medoc, Ontario. This building is a newer addition to the homestead and it was dismantled by volunteers on a farm near Bolter, northeast of Bancroft, in 2007 to 2008 and was rebuilt on a site very similar to the original O'Hara log cabin. One of the main features of this cabin is the stone fireplace. So this hearth, also known as fireplace, would have been used for all the cooking the O'Hara's did. It would have been the only source of heat for the winter. This hearth is special because it never smokes. This is due to a very specific angle of the chimney. And as we start to move around the room, you'll see that it's set up with everything you might need, including a fun croquetino board. Over here, we have a quilt which is in the log cabin quilt pattern. So early log cabin blocks were hand pieced using strips of fabric around a center square. In traditional log cabin blocks, one half is made of dark fabrics and the other half light. A red center symbolizes the hearth of home and a yellow center represents a welcoming light in the window. As we continue around, We'll find the bed over here. So this is a day bed. So the frame doesn't have any springs on the bottom. Instead, you'll find interlacing rope. This was very common in the 1800s. The same thing can be found on all the beds in the white O'Hara house that was built later by the family. So we have a spinning wheel up on the wall. Over here on the table, we have a mouse trap. So this mouse trap on display is a replica of one that would have been used in the pioneer days. Cheese would have been placed on the paddle. Then as the mouse stepped on the paddle, a block of wood would drop onto the mouse. It was important to keep the mice away because they carried many diseases. And over here beside it, we have a spinning wheel. So the spinning wheel was an important addition to the homestead. It would be used to spin wool fibers collected from the sheep into yarn. The yarn would then be used to make different articles of clothing, like sweaters and scarves to keep them warm throughout the winter. And here we are, back at our fireplace with some nice chairs in front of it, where you would sit by the fire to stay warm and have a nice, pleasant evening.